seal that goes between uh, the tank and the bowl. Okay, and that's a very, very important part. Um, there's a hundred million videos out there that tell you how to put all that equipment in there. So I'm not going to go through that. But I'm using the Fluid Master. And it works on most old toilets and new toilets. And this is pretty much a new toilet. So after cleaning that off, and just keep this in mind, that is not dirty water down in here. So it, it's okay to just use your bare hands. It's, it's good. So that's not dirty water. And neither is the water inside of the bowl, not dirty water. But this right here is the seal. And this seal basically just goes over top of this big old nut that goes on here. And I'll put that back in. But Flow uh, Fluid Master gives this with this kit. The problem is, is that this is not big enough or, or tall enough, thick enough here like this. Thick enough here to touch this bowl. And I'll show you what I mean by that in just a second, okay? Hold on. So I put it back on. It's nice and tight. And it's up against it and the top of this rim is right here on that edge okay so it looks good it looks like it's gonna work fine but I'm gonna show you where I had the problem at each time and I've had to replace like eight of these okay okay so now I put the uh, bowl back on and um, or the reservoir back on and these are spacers so I guess it's supposed to allow some air but the thing is is that with this particular um, um, gasket, it's not big enough to create the seal between here and here. And I'll show you how you know. You see that? Moving this around. And everywhere I move, I'm hitting porcelain. Okay? So that means that I'm not sitting on here. This shouldn't even be rocking right now. Uh, see that? It shouldn't even be rocking. So that tells me that that seal that's in here is not touching that hole at all. And I found out that because I tightened everything up in the bottom. I did what I was supposed to do. Connected the water back again. The, the, um, the supply water. Filled it up. When I get ready to flush it and it goes through, it fills up that cavity. Show you the cavity again. So the flush comes out of here, but you got to imagine if I'm not seated on this, there's water that's going to come around here. Okay. And after all of this water starts coming down here and filling up this whole area, and it probably looks like a couple fit in here, a cup of water, it's going to overflow. And then you'll see overflow from different places. Now, when I first removed this, these uh, spacers or I guess these um, little things here were right there. They were located there. And I guess that's supposed to allow cavitation. I'm not sure. But one thing I know for sure is I went back to the store and I got another one of these that's probably about this thick for like $1.99. And it actually worked a whole lot better. So as soon as I put it in, finger tight, one turn, each one of these bolts over here. I even put these space these um, um, uh, these spacers in, and everything worked out. I didn't get no leak or anything. So, but um, uh, I just wanted to share that because Flowmaster, uh, Fluid Master does a really good job with all the equipment that they give you. And but the thing is, is this right here? You won't know this until about ten o'clock at night when you're working on it, and you can't go to the store until the next day. And I'm going to show you what you need to get if you've got the type of toilet I got. But this is the all-in-one that I picked up from them. And then you want to come down here and make sure you grab this. When you grab this, you probably need to get two of them because they're for the girl. Okay? Alright, so now I have both of these um, seals. Um, this is the one I bought today. So, as you can tell again, see how that goes up on there, and it uh, seals next to that uh, nut. The nut actually goes down in this area right here. But this one doesn't go down in the nut. The only thing it goes around is this piece here. And get 
get it on. Here we go. See that? So now, you just make sure that seal is right because there's no water coming out of here. The water's coming out of here. So then, we're going to sit it in here. All right? Okay, like I was talking about before, see now, I move this around. See, it gets steady. I move it around. You're not hearing porcelain on porcelain because it's sitting on the seal now. If I do that, that's the porcelain. All right, so that's what you want to avoid because those bolts on the bottom are not to be supposed to be super tight to hold this piece to this piece. All it's supposed to do is just keep it in spot. So let's get it tied up and um, let you know how it works. Okay, so now I've got it filled up where I want it full. And now I'm gonna put my camera, camera down here and I'm gonna flush, okay? Here we go. Looking for water, checking, no water at all. That's what I'm talking about right there. Good deal. Alright folks, hope you enjoyed this video.